Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So Freaks is a sci-fi slash thriller movie that is a combination of X-Men and also this older 80s movie called Firestarter starring Drew Barrymore. If that sounds like a combination that's interesting to you, then you might want to check out Freaks. And so the general story is we have this father named Henry, played by Emil Hirsch, and his young 7-year-old daughter Chloe, played by Lexi Coker. And Henry is somebody who is really overprotective of his daughter, so much so that he doesn't even allow her to leave the house. And in this mix, we also have this weird ice cream man played by Bruce Dern and other characters that aren't quite normal. And as the story unfolds, you realize that most things aren't normal as well. And so that's kind of like the vague explanation of what this movie is. And the reason I'm doing this is because this is one of those movies that slowly unfolds and telling you more about it will really spoil the whole movie. So let's go ahead and get into the things that I liked and didn't like about Freaks. And so the first thing that I really enjoyed about this film is the overall world building that's here. Now this is an indie budget film, but I think the creators did an excellent job in building a world that is a lot bigger and more layered than it would first appear. And so for most of the movie, it's going to be told through Chloe's perspective. And so for the first half of this film, you're really learning a little bit about Chloe and her father Henry and how he's extremely paranoid and has a very dark view of the world. And it's only when you start seeing the story unravel and then whenever Chloe starts making contact with the outside world that you start to understand why he is this way. And this is especially true whenever she starts making contact with this ice cream man and also other people around their neighborhood. And as you step out into this world along with Chloe, you see that it is not normal and then there's also abnormal things as well. And as you're learning more about Chloe and her special abilities, then a whole nother side of this world opens up. And that's what I really enjoyed about this because the story and the world that's built here, it all makes sense if you just wait and see what's going on. And at the same time, if you think back to everything that happened in the movie, it really all goes together. And then this is the part where it's kind of similar to X-Men because you have this whole thing of normal and abnormal. And you'll kind of understand what I mean once you watch this. And so the second thing that I really liked about this film is the overall acting. Emil Hirsch did a great job as her father. Bruce Dern really fit this role of this really creepy ice cream man that is, you know, more special than you would think. And then, of course, we have Chloe played by Lexi Coker. She's a great child actress, and I think she did a wonderful job. And this reminded me so much of that movie Firestarter. And at that time, that movie came out in 1984, and Drew Barrymore, she was a child actress at that time. And the roles are very similar if you've seen that movie. And then the final thing that I really enjoyed about this film is, despite this low budget, it really spent the money in the places that made sense. You know, it's not going to have the most amazing special effects, but what they did with the set design, the environments, and how they use this within the story really helped this budget go a lot further. And at the same time, it served the story overall in a really impactful way. And so those are all the main things that I can think of about this movie that I enjoyed. But there's probably a lot of other things as well. And it's one of those movies that you'll get a few more things in repute viewings. So let's go ahead and get into the things that I didn't like about this movie. For the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap where you can get a domain for an entire year for less than $10, plus get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so the first thing that might be a negative for some viewers is that this is a very slow burning film, especially during the first half of the movie where the characters are being introduced and the world is being established. And so if you're expecting X-Men level action right away, then you will be disappointed. However, if you are patient, the payoffs are there. And then the second thing that I didn't like is that even though the entire movie itself I found very interesting and it kept my attention, the ending wasn't quite as strong and it was more predictable and cliche. And there's even scenes in there that reminds me a lot of The Matrix. But other than those two things, I really feel that Freaks is one of those hidden gems, especially in the whole sci-fi world, where it's a movie that really focuses on building a world and characters that you actually care about. And so those are overall my thoughts on Freaks. If you had any of your own thoughts on this movie, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you want to see more of my sci-fi reviews, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share like and subscribe.
Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.